Hey, it's Pete from PMG Auto Care here. Today's video is all about the challenge that is Nardo Grey on this lovely Audi RS3. The Audi RS3 is one of those cars at the moment. They have a huge following, a Nardo grey one, probably one of the most sought after of them all. The owner of this particular one just wants to get the car looking its best, bring out its true potential. Now, Nardo is a tricky colour to work on. On our initial walk around, there was a positive and there's a negative. The positive is the car is relatively clean, like all the shots and moldings and edges and stuff like that. So it's obviously well cared for. Um, that's a positive thing for us in terms of its cleanliness. The negative though, it looks really swirly, even through that fine film of dirt. And I can see lots of micro marns. So there's been machine polishing before on this. This could complicate the job further. The first thing we need to do, get it out into the wash bay, fairly straightforward wash process on this one. And then we can get it dry and see exactly what we have to deal with. But I'm going to bet it's not going to be pretty. Why do we have our work cut out on this one? I seen through the dirt that there was quite a few paint blemishes on the car, but when we lit it up, especially on the doors and the lower sections of the car, it really has beat to hell. Um, well, it's going to leave us in a choice where I normally wouldn't take with a Nardo car. Normally we would attack these with foam because again, they're a straight finish. They can be complicated and it can leave micro mar and work marks and stuff behind. But the defects are just so severe in this, I think we're going to have no choice but to jump in with the microfiber and we'll just spend the time breaking the polish right the way down. And that'll hopefully be the right combo for this. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Jump in with the microfiber, be dead aggressive. The important thing is here is getting 
as much defects out of the paint as possible. And then we'll worry about sharpening up that finish and getting it looking how you would expect it to with the second set of refining. Looking forward to seeing the transformation in this one. It's going to be big. It's really going to make such a visual improvement on the car. So let's get stuck into it. It's going to be a long one. Hasn't that correction step really, really transformed that car? It's made a huge difference to it. It's so much sharper and glossier already. But unfortunately, the nature of us cutting the car like that, it has left some micromarring behind. But we always knew that was going to be the case. And we would refine it even if we hadn't, because refining is the true, true secret to unlocking the gloss and depth of a car. So that's what we're going to jump into now. It's going to be reasonably straightforward. It's going to really make the difference though to the end product. So let's get crack on with that and then we'll get on to the protection steps. As you can see, that really further enhanced it so much more. Now, I'm happy the paint looks as good as it's possibly going to look. So we need to protect it, and that's ceramic coatings, on especially a finish like Nardo. It's just going to make life so much easier. It's just going to require simple wash maintenance, and the car will stay looking this good for years to come, as long as you follow the correct maintenance procedure. But as I say, simple, it's all wash based, so it's all good. We'll lay down some Crystal Serum Ultra and some XOV5 on this. Wheels are coming off. They look like they've been fairly recently refurbished. They're a pretty awesome colour. I think they're a Lamborghini colour. And we'll be protecting them with C5 wheel armour and then the glass with G1 just to round it out. It's going to make the difference of boosting the finish again. This is going to be one seriously glossy car once we're finished. Let's get started. <music> Oh, 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 oh,
So that's the RS3 complete. It looks incredible. So there's only one thing left to do, and that's show you guys it finished. I am really chuffed with how that turned out. That is a different car than the one that was dropped off. It was so dull and lifeless, really full of really heavy, heavy defects that took quite a bit of work to get them out. But now it's totally transformed. Look at that gloss out in the daylight. It is something else. And a color like Nardo Gray, it's hard to get a really deep gloss of unless you have the right tools, knowledge, products, and more importantly, invest the time into getting it to where it needs to be. Can't wait to see the owner's reaction to this one. I'm sure he's going to be just as pleased as I am. So that's another video wrapped up. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps keep us motivated. We're going to try and do weekly uploads from this point going forward. We have a few more videos already in, the, in production at the minute, so hopefully we'll get another one to you next week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.